What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles that I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Declasse Saber Turbo Custom. Now, I did customize this car in the past, but I had no commentary in that video, so it was highly suggested by you guys that I go back and recustomize it. Now, this also goes for other cars in the game as well. So if I had no commentary in an old customization video, I can recustomize that vehicle as well. Now, in terms of the regular Sabre Turbo, which is an OG car from 2013, there were many different variants of it in GTA Vice City, Vice City Stories, Chinatown Wars, and GTA 4 as well, which is pretty much identical to the one they put in GTA 5. But anyways, going back to the Sabre Turbo Custom, this car came out with the Lowriders Customs Classics update on April 19th, 2016. Now this car is a Benny's upgrade of course, so to get the Sabre Turbo Custom, you have to first buy the regular version of this car, which can only be purchased on the Benny's website for $15,000, or of course you can find it on the street and steal it for free, and then take it to either Benny's or another custom shop that allows you to install Benny's upgrades. And the custom conversion cost for this car is 490000 Does seem pretty expensive, but honestly for a Benny's car that's actually pretty fast with good customization, I think that's a pretty good deal. And in terms of performance, this car is in the muscle car class and is surprisingly still around top 5 for most tracks, which is very impressive for sure for the muscle car class. Also to note, the top 5 muscle cars for lap time excluding the recently added Dominator ASP, have very similar lap times and are pretty closely competitive depending on the track, which I think is pretty impressive and great for variety in racing. And this car being from 2016, I think that's pretty cool that it's still up there. Now obviously the newer Dominator ASP has ruined that quite a bit, but with more top speed intense tracks since the ASP doesn't really have top speed matched to the Pizwazer Dominator, etc., it becomes a bit more balanced, but again, it has to be a more top speed intense track. But, anyways, the Sabre Turbo itself is primarily based on the 1970 Oldsmobile 442, just a very cool car from the 70s. And the one in GTA is almost identical and even offers a similar hood upgrade to get it even closer to the real car, which is just honestly very, very cool. Now obviously the custom version is the same car but turned into a lowrider with hydraulics, but most notably its performance is on another level compared to the regular Sabre Turbo, both in terms of top speed and handling. I mean it's almost like a completely different car, it's very very impressive. Now this is a bit controversial because there's some people who prefer the regular Sabre Turbo because of its looks, so what a lot of players do is get the lowrider version and then on the exterior just make it look as normal as possible and then you have that awesome speed benefit with the normal Sabre Turbo look if that's what you're going for. But anyway let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Benny's Sabre Turbo Custom. Alright let's do it Sabre Turbo Custom. Alright we got armor, we got brakes, we got bumpers, so you got custom chin spoiler, very nice. Got extended chin spoiler, painted, and then painted in large. Hmm. I definitely like the chin spoiler edition. Uh, this one's a bit too <laughs> big, kind of like, uh, I don't know, a bit too large there of a front splitter. Um, and I think it's a little bit too low compared to our side. I mean, it does kind of match, sort of. Hmm. I do like the chrome though. The chrome is very nice uh, for the bumper. I like the contrast. So you know, we'll do the, let's go ahead and do the custom chin spoiler with the chrome from bumper. Um, oh, these removed the plate too. I didn't even notice, look at that. The, the painted ones removed the plate, but then you still kind of have like a dark gray or chrome in the middle where the plate used to be. Very weird. <laughs> okay, we're definitely doing this one. Rear bumper, you have painted rear bumper. Well, we have a chrome front bumper, so we're gonna keep that matching. 
chassis, you have roll cage options, so you have a roll cage there, first person, you want to do that. Now it's worth mentioning the, uh, the roll cage options for the standard Saber Turbo um, include a little nitrous bottle in the center. This one doesn't for the uh, custom version, so keep, uh, keep that in mind. Um, then you have stun cage, which is chrome. Okay. <laughs> Different. And the stun cage on the normal Saber Turbo also removes the passenger seat. On this one, it doesn't. Interesting. Okay, continuing. We're not going to do a roll cage there. We got engine block. So thankfully, probably the best part, <laughs> in my opinion, that you should buy this car. You know, if you're going to go to car meets and stuff and pop your hood. The stock engine model of this car is absolutely awful. Um, and with these options here, you can change that. So you have uh, painted covers, which cleans it up a bit. Um, and gives you uh, different valve covers on that normal engine if you want to keep that um, or you continue here and you get very nice clean options uh, my favorite being the uh, the V8 option all the different variants of the valve covers here very nice I'm gonna do the do the chrome yeah we'll do the chrome ribbed covers it's nice got air intakes different manifolds there um, I think with twin filters, cool. Let's do that. Engine tunes maxed out, and kind of cool too. The engine tunes still retain that cheap price of you know, you know, this car's original <laughs> modification cost. Usually, an engine tune option on a more expensive car is like I think no thirty rest. grand, something like that. And here it's only like six. So very nice. You have exhausts. You have let me rub it up here. Uh, you have stock exhaust, you have chrome, uh, which the chrome tip definitely looks a lot better. It's got the nice cutoff to it, um, and it's, you know, a lot more up against the bumper, which looks a lot cleaner. Um, then you have the big bore exhaust, um, which, you know, <laughs> they stick out a lot, <laughs> but too much for my taste. And then you have side exit exhaust for those of you who like that. So I think we're definitely going to do the uh, chrome tip exhaust, and that looks great. Do that there. Grill. So you have D-Chrome grill. So I guess if we want to get rid of the chrome, I guess it looks, looks more like a plastic or a matte black or something. And then you have painted lights around for those of you who like that. Um, now, quick little quirk here for those of you who don't know. Now, the standard Sabre Turbo has like little fog lights in the grill um, right below the Declasse logo. And then these options here actually retain the original kind of like bezel. <laughs> of those fog lights which is kind of weird stock obviously doesn't have it but these still have it very strange look so keep that in mind if you're choosing one of these grill options you're gonna get bezels for the invisible fog lights that could have been there <laughs> um i'm definitely keeping the chrome i really like the chrome grill the chrome front bumper i mean it kind of like suits the era of this car well, the painted looks pretty decent but I don't know, I, that fog light bezels look a little weird there. I am a bit picky, for those of you who don't know or can't see already. <laughs> Alright, we have hood, so you have a cold induction hood, Bubble. then you have ram air hood, so this is the hood that's very similar to the uh, 442 Oldsmobile hood. Very, very cool. Absolutely love that. Um, continuing here, we have carbon stock hood. Okay, you have triple intake bug catcher and the uh, normal bug catcher. Okay. So I think we're definitely going to do the Ram Air Hood. Love that. Uh, hydraulics. Um, so you got all the different hydraulic options here. Um, I guess I'll install the most expensive one because either way you're forced to have the hydraulic look back here. So might as well make it nice, I guess. Um, that's kind of like, if for this car you're kind of like forced sort of to do a resto mod build. However, however, from the outside you can have it look very stock, which... A lot of uh, companies do that with their resto mod builds. They have an original look on the outside, and then on the inside it will have like a modern engine, a modern transmission, more modern interior, all that type of stuff. So that's what we're trying to do here. So we're going to do the uh, this option here for that. Interior, so you have trim, trim design. So you have all the different options here. And the biggest thing to note is that any of these options do change the seats, which I really like. I feel like the stock seats are a bit ugly. <laughs> on this car so you have the velour you got leopard tiger all the different crazy benny's lowrider stuff <laughs> luxury camo oh my gosh now the leather strip is probably my favorite while the chrome it looks really really good or actually no leather striped my bad not stripped that will be two p's 
leather stripe uh, interior. You got the leopard, tiger, zebra, crocodile skin. Oh boy. Camo, digital camo, and that's all of it there. So definitely the leather striped. Love that. Gives us the chrome around the seats, the door panels. Everything just looks a lot more premium in here. That's We're going to do here. that. Trim color. Um... You know, I think we might do trim color. Should we do red or something like that? Or maybe like a... I don't know. Because I, I, the whole headliner being... I wish the headliner could stay black. And then you could do the red for the rest of this interior. I think that would look great. But I feel like the... Yeah, it's just a bit too much, I think. Just a bit too much for this interior. Um, let me leave it graphite for now. Um, and then we might go back to it. If we don't go back to it, it's because I, I liked it without it. But... <laughs> Continuing, we have ornaments. So for those of you who like the bobblehead options, you know, you can pick one of these. Um, dials, so you have all the different crazy dials here. You have plain Jane, which gives you a nice upgraded look to the gauges. Um, then you got uh, flames, skull, <laughs> oh my gosh. All the crazy Benny modifications. Plain Jane negative. Very cool. Awesome. Look at that. That's sick. Rocker style, classic 30s. That is so cool. Wow. Um, I think we're going to do the plain Jane, or should we do the plain Jane negative? Hmm. I think we'll do the plain Jane negative. It looks a lot better. I like that. So we'll do that. Steering wheels. So you got three way, two toed, all the different crazy options here. Street rod with the wood. That's really nice. You got two retro. All different crazy options. Unfortunately, I can't zoom out here. I can only zoom in. Um, and from the outside, I mean, you can kind of see it there. I think this is probably the best view for those steering wheels. It's a bit annoying. Definitely a very awkward view that you can barely see with steering wheels. Um, Resto mod, if you like that look. Um, all the different options there. Very cool. I think I'm definitely going to do the one with the wood. I like that a lot. The, the uh, street rod. That is really nice do that. Uh, column shifters. I, I don't understand what's with the column shifter thing. I mean, I get it. You know, it's on most Benny's lowriders and stuff, but I mean, we already have a shifter in the center. At least, at least, wait a minute, or does that remove it with the interior option? I can't even tell. You know what? Let's, let's double check this. I, I, I actually don't know. It's the beauty of this. You can hop out of the car in this custom shop. Oh, it removes it. So for the leather striped interior, it removes, wow, the center console shifter. Huh. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, so I guess we're f forced to do the column shifter, or else we don't have a shifter at all, so. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Well, more Rockstar logic there. Okay, so column shifters, I guess we'll put one of these on here. Um, even though it looks a little strange, but do that, I guess. Pistol. <laughs> I don't even know which one to put. I guess the eight ball. I don't even know. Lucky dice. <laughs> Lucky dice looks weird. Um, we'll do the eight ball, I guess. Plaques. Oh, if you want to do one of the plaques back here, you can do that. All the different Benny's plaques there. Okay. So you got speaker options for the back. What's the stock look like? Hmm. I guess we'll do one of these. Why not? Light color, so if you want to change that, I feel like the silver is fine for like this look. Um, I don't think we should change that, even though it's a bit dull. I think maybe the white, yeah, the white looks a bit better, I think. Or the bluish silver, kind of like an LED look. Okay, lights, headlights. Uh, I think we'll leave the standard headlights. Livery, so this is something that when I first customized this car, a while ago, back in 2016, I, I didn't really agree with, because when you upgrade it to the custom variant, it removes the stock kind of livery, which fine, you know, that makes sense, but unfortunately, you can't apply it back, and I actually like the stock livery of this car a lot, and it's unfortunate that they just forcefully took it away when you upgrade to this, so I mean, all these options here are just lowrider pinstripes and stuff, and flames, <laughs> You know, for those of you who like that, 
um, which is cool. If you're going for a lowrider build from the exterior and all that, by all means, you know, great options. But if you want to do that build I was talking about earlier, where you want a kind of a classy look from the outside, but then on the interior and the engine and all that, more custom modern stuff, um, I just, I really wish we would have had that livery option. So I'm going to skip out on the liveries. I really don't like any of these, if I'm being honest, because it's not really what the build I'm going with. But if the stock livery option would have been here, I definitely would have applied that. Continuing, got the plate holders. Look at that. That's so cool. All the different plate holders there. Barbed wire. What? <laughs> Davy Jones. That's so cool. That is awesome. Bike chain. Flaming skull. Wow, that's so cool. There's no, I guess we'll do a low and slow, even though we're not going low and slow, but this car is actually pretty fast. Um, yeah, we'll do a low and slow, why not? Low and slow. Vanity plates, so you got the, so if you wanna not have a custom front plate and put a vanity plate instead, you can do that. Um, so you have all the different options here. I think I'm gonna go with the Declasse logo one, I think that's sick. Um, continuing here, you have all the different options, and uh, the plate frame does say uh, Saber and then Turbo Charge on the bottom, so cool. That option stock? Oh yeah, it is stock, look at that, I didn't know that. Okay, I, I wouldn't even focus that close to see that. Let's do it with the Class A, that's sick. Uh, license plate, we're gonna change that for sure. Got my uh, Merca plate for it, there it is. And we'll do a black background. Respray. So for this, I'm I'm gonna go red. I this car just just it needs to be red. <laughs> it just looks really good in red. So we're gonna do that. Uh, I definitely passed it. Only been playing GTA since it came out, and if <laughs> I don't know I passed that. I always get confused with the paint colors and stuff. Torino red, secondary, and secondary is your. I believe it's the frame on this car. Let's see, yeah, yep. It's the frame. That is so cool. Look at that. The entire frame. Oh, why is the front splitter linked to that? That is annoying. I like the front splitter in black, if I'm being honest. That's that's a bit annoying. I think we're going to go black for that, honestly. And we'll do the crew black since it's a lot darker. Yeah. Do the crew black. Trim color. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 hold the phone, wait a minute. Your primary transfers to the interior trim. Oh, look at that, so we ended up did getting some red trim in there, because it was linked to the primary. Wow, I'm very, very happy about it, actually. And then trim color would be what we saw earlier with the headliner and all that. And I'm gonna leave that black. That's a really cool contrast. How does it look with a white? Definitely, yeah, it's a bit overkill. That that just looks weird. Okay, yeah, we're done. Yeah, the black is perfect with the red trim. That is nice. That's really nice. I'm very happy with that. Cribblum on this car goes on the side of the doors. Spoiler upgrade. You have low level spoiler in black. Nice. Now, I don't know if that spoiler is linked to your secondary, is it? It is. Okay. All right. Uh, continuing. Transmission. Trunk, so you have oh wow, extra. Sp you want to put more speakers back here? I mean, I guess why not? We'll go the which one shall we do though? I guess we'll just go extreme. I mean, you already have hydraulics back here, might as well. That's the for you. Turbo wheels, all right. So, this is where we're gonna go to our <laughs> original kind of look. Um, so we're gonna go to uh, muscle, we're gonna go to chrome. And then we're going to go to the Muscle Freak. Look at that. Very, very nice. Very original look for this car. We're going to apply those. And then we're going to do the tire lettering. Nice. Okay, continuing. Windows. Do we black it out? Hmm. Yeah, I guess to kind of hide that custom interior. But once you open the door, then you can kind of see it in the speakers too. Yeah. Definitely black it out. Not bad at all. Now, I do see the pearlescent from the Torino Red transferring over to the spoiler on the front splitter. That's a bit annoying. Let's change that really quick. Let's go to classic Torino Red. So we'll do that. I really wish Rockstar would separate the pearlescents for primary and secondary. Alright, now, now we're looking better. Definitely. 
All right. Uh, we got all the options there. All right, let's take it for a drive. Exit to ground. So again, from at first glance, it looks like a normal Sabre Turbo without <laughs> the livery, obviously, um, which I really do like. And then, of course, it's a full custom kind of resto mod, you know, on the interior um, and the engine bay and all that. I think it's very, very cool. All right, let's give it some revs here. Sounds great. All right, let's floor it here. Good bit of wheel spin, but the acceleration, very nice. Wow. <laughs> this thing is definitely not slow. It's properly quick. Let's go hard on the brakes here. Not too bad. I mean, for a muscle car, it's not terrible. I mean, not good by sports car standards. <laughs> but for muscle cars, that's, that's pretty decent. Some high speed turns, not bad. Try some low speed. A little bit of loss of traction on the bumps. Is to be expected. Mid drive it out. Nice. <laughs> it's fun. It is very, very cool. Wow. It's it's fast. Especially the more and more bumps you go over, especially with this car. Look at that. I mean it's it's really clean. The way it takes the corners and everything. You just gotta be, you know, have a little throttle management well, depending on the bumps and stuff while you're taking slower corners. Very cool overall, though. Alright, let's pull over here. Let's do like a quick wheelie test. Oh, almost held it there. It's a bit tricky. This car has a, a good amount of acceleration, so you really. Ooh, I don't wanna hit the post. <laughs> yeah, you really gotta play with it. But this is definitely a pretty good one for that. And of course, this being a Benny's lowrider has the hydraulics. They go up, go down, and then if you hold it, you can do the uh, the thing where you I forgot how you do it. Do that. Oh, yeah. I I, I don't remember how you do the thing where you. you f oh, there it is. That's how you jump it. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> That's so cool. And of course, you got the the front. You make it bounce. Same thing with the back. And of course you can lean it forward or you can lean it like that. Let's do it like that. Look at that. You want <laughs> and of course here you can see all the suspension work um, of you know the bennies and all that, which is part of the customs option. Very, very cool. All the chrome down here, upgraded control arms, I mean everything. It looks very, very premium, very good looking. And of course you can tilt it side to side if you want. You can <laughs> do that or do that. Just very cool. Uh, and then you got uh, vehicle doors. You got all. And factually, this is the fastest Benny's muscle car. Yeah, we can say that. So that's the f fastest Benny's muscle car. So I guess that's a title to have. Um, you got the chrome engine model the V8 upgrade. I think it looks great. Got the red engine block with the chrome valve covers and the filter. I think that looks great. The chrome out the front, got the upgraded interior, it looks a hundred times better. Very, very premium. I think that looks great. Um, I don't what what is that on the side of the door? It looks like diamond plate or something. Very weird. It's not a hole. I just backed it up so you can see the, the gutter here. You don't see the gutter underneath. That is strange. It almost looks like the street texture. <laughs> In between the door sills, that's so weird. Um, we got our upgraded steering wheel there. Looks really good. Not bad. I'm very happy with this. I mean, uh, if you ignore, if you try to like not buy, I think the most expensive upgrade was definitely the upgraded hydraulics. So maybe don't buy the upgraded hydraulics or one of the cheaper ones. Um, and overall, this build, I mean, it's it's not too bad. It's pretty affordable, under a million dollars if you're kind of conservative with the upgrades. Um, and I think it's just a very, very cool car. Uh, the ultimate Benny's muscle car. Obviously not the fastest muscle car, but I mean, it's still up there as I talked about earlier. Um, overall, great, great car. Anyways, guys, don't forget to let me know in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.